All right, Hollywood, Hollywood. Stop getting that dirt off your shoulders. Nice suit jacket, Tool. Why are you wearing that tonight? It's, uh, I don't know. Just, I felt like being swagged out. Okay? Sw swagged out? Yeah, swagged out. We're in a pretty swagged out place. We're in Real Sports. Steve Dangle here with DJ Ryan Real. And there's something about your jacket that is making the Leafs win 5-1 right now uh, at the end of the second period against Boston. By the way, if the Leafs lose this game, they'll never see But now you have to wear this jacket from now on. Why did you say that they, they'll never see this if they're never going to see it? Isn't that because that's my swag. Right? That's his swag. That's my swag. This is my swag. But that's what you wanted to talk about, correct? Yes. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. Swag swag. swag. The Leafs have a little bit of swag tonight. Yes. The Young for Nuff has a little bit of swag for the last month. What he hurts, when he thinks he can hurt people, and he is, when he's a master of his own domain, and people are falling, and he is standing, trickle down effect. Economic, simple economics. Yeah. Well, so, no, 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 simple no. economics. Excuse me. The yes. soup has got a. Oh, uh, yes. No, but, and speaking of master of his own domain, with the uh, Thomas Cavalier trade, more offensive responsibility was put on Gian Knuff. I don't know what he has in this game. I'd have to look it up. But he has 11 points in 14 games since the Cavalier trade. Five of them goals, which means he has more goals. In 14 games since Cavalier was traded, than he did in the 68 with him. What's up with that? I don't know. Here's a question. Swiggy swag. He's got some swiggy. Here's a question. Can we go back to me, please? Want me to do? Bro, Listen, he wears he wears a jacket. I can't tell him nothing. Uh, here's a question. Cavalier's a free agent next year, right? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. This summer. Oh, this summer, exactly. Uh, okay, I'll ask you this question first, Mr. Dangle. Do you believe in? Team chemistry or team karma or team aura, like we can agree that the Leafs, since the moves that have been made, the prestige move, everything, they have something. It's real now. You can feel the team has an identity. Even though Cavalier is a quality player, no one argue that, would you bring him back at a reasonable salary? Considering that. What's a reasonable salary? Four and a half. Years. No. I would not bring him. And, and here's the thing uh, I can appreciate what. Who's it? I think Carolina. Someone, someone did like with rental players. You trade a guy away, knowing he's gonna come back the next year. Nah. If you trade a guy, you've traded. He's gone. He got his video thing up on the jumbotron. People stood, applauded, they cried, whatever. He's gone. I don't know if they cried. Some of them might have cried. How weird does he look in black and gold, by the way? I don't. I don't think he looks. Thank you. Uh, I don't even know. Wow, great answer. So Schwiggy Schweck, Phaneuf's got it. Neon Dion, you know, who else has it on the team? Keith Ollie's getting it. Keith Ollie's getting the Schwiggy Schweck. Shen's been having it. James Reimer. Yeah, see, I don't know if that's swag, though. That's just karma, and good karma follows him everywhere because he's just a good person. Was that too deep? Swag might be wrong, but, but he's playing well, and swag is... He used to represent good. So I'm going to say that. And to define swag, by the way, for example, earlier in the game, Dion Phaneuf checked Zdeno O'Chara, and for a second it looked like they were going to go. And part of me was like, well, yeah, Phaneuf would do it. He'd fight him. I didn't say he'd win. But what is it about Phaneuf that made me think, yeah, he would fight him? Uh, you know? Well, he's a leader. And he understands what it means to step up for your team. Uh, and he's also, his mentality has to be that he's dominant and powerful. When someone wants to fight him, the first thing he's going to think isn't going to be, oh my god, it's Chara. Chara's probably the only guy in the NHL, other than maybe Bugar, who, like, fighting could potentially ruin your career. This is like, <laughs> one second. All right, well, Ryan, I hope you can hear me while you actually do your job over here. Uh, last question. Let's pretend the Leafs don't make the playoffs. Can you make? I don't want to pick that. No, I, I know you don't want to pick that, but can you maintain swiggity swag over a summer, even if you don't make the playoffs? Yes. There's a very positive feeling in that dressing room. Uh, I think they know what they're capable of. They know what they've been doing. And the playoffs, if, let's put it, put it this way. If you don't win the cup or make it to the cup or whatever, um, you made the playoffs, but at the end of the day, you still didn't win. One second. 
You, you want to wrap it up? I know you got to do your job. Oh, he's determined. Uh, oh, what's about to start? Engine yeah. double A. Yeah, so, right. so uh, final thoughts. Uh, judging by the fact that they've come together as a team, we have an identity now. We're going to add pieces certainly all season. We know something's going to happen in the draft. They're going to get better. Speaking of swag, wearing uh, whoever other than Leafs jersey, anywhere here, no swag around here. No, no swag. swag. No, no swag. No swag. No. No swag. San Sans swag. This has been In the Booth with DJ Ryan Real and Steve Dangle bringing you the longest two-minute videos ever since 2010. Bad.